What's up, y'all? Or, uh, wait a minute. Is that... How did I got Nintendo Capri Sun? I don't know what that what's up, y'all, was all about. Anyway, uh, we're back in Windfall Island, and it's nighttime, and now I'm going to climb a ladder. <laughs> Excuse me. God, that was nasty. You just hear the liquid coming up on that one. Anyway, uh, you know, sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes the imagery is just too much. Anyway, there's a switch up here. You step on it, and it causes this thing to start moving. This windmill of sorts. At least I believe it does. Whoa! <laughs> See, the, the look on Link, Link's face there was like, holy crap. I'm not sure if the wind has to be blown in a certain direction, but last time I did this, I had it blowing north, so... If it's not working this time, then we'll know why. I don't know why this place is still open. Well, I guess it's so you can get up there, you know. But geez, it's such a, you know, heavy price to pay just for some little kid to be able to get up there. For you to have to keep your store open all hours of the day. Fine night, isn't it? You know, this thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered ferris wheel used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. Pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though. If the wind blew in the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. Looks like an easterly wind is blowing now. So it didn't work, did it? No, I'm gonna have to do it again. We need the wind to be blowing north, so hang on. Okay, I'm back, and we're climbing the ladder to the switch now. We have a northerly, or a, a north wind. So, let's... <laughs> there we go. Now you see that wonderful sound that says, Holy crap, you've discovered something. And, yay. Now it seems the Ferris wheel is in commission, but... It's kind of strange that, you know, this would happen at night time, this thing would start working again. Anyway, so we just have to get back up there now, which means we have to go through the shop again, and all that crap. I'm extremely tired. Like, if I close my eyes for even one minute, I start falling asleep. Because I only got two hours of sleep last night. So, I'm a little zonked. You'll have to forgive that. Ooh, uh, let's see what he says now. He says, fine night, isn't it? Well, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. Wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump into the gondola seats just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's ride the wheel, the Ferris wheel, man. I wish I could take Medley on this. Oops. Okay, I'm back. I just jumped off the side earlier. I did not mean to do that. Holy crap there. See, that's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just have your angle right. I wonder what's over there on top of that thing. That awning. Anyway, well, while you're up here, you're probably gonna want to get your fire arrows ready to go here. Because you're gonna want to try to see if you can get this light started up here. This light hoose. So... Oh man! What a bad shot. You only really get one shot at that, and then you have to wait for it to go all the way around again. And this took me several tries last time. Like in practice, it must have taken me six tries. Seriously. Uh, riding the Ferris wheel, riding the Ferris wheel. It's hard to believe, like, this is actually the view that you would get if you were really riding a Ferris wheel. Because, like, when you ride a real Ferris wheel, you see all the metal, and you see the other seats, and you see your own seat, and you see, you know, the other people, and just... Mm, I don't think I can get it from here. Dude. Oh, man, I got two really shitty shots there. Dude! Whoa, what's that? Something's flying around up there? Oh, it's a flag. Jeez, you scared me. I thought it was a bird. You know how they are with birds in this game. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Right here. This is our shot. Yes! Oh, I knew I was going to get it that time. I just knew it. That only took three tries, actually. And now the lighthouse shines all over everything. And a treasure chest appears. Wowzers. I think we better check that out. Thank goodness we can see where we are relative to that. And I'm just going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna save you, Link. I'm gonna save you. Whoa. 
Yeah, wind is not exactly favorable to be floating to that chest, so we're gonna have to change it up. Um, I think we need it to be blowing east. No, well, let's see. No, it looks more like southwest. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay, now that we have the wind blowing the right direction, we can float to it! Yay. So, let's take your time. At first I thought you were gonna have to, like, have the hook shot to get to this, like, from your ship or from Beetle's ship or something, but then it's like, oh, you just float to it, yeah, totally. And we get another piece of heart, how do you like that? Yeah, gotta love them pieces of heart, man. And there's plenty more where that came from, since we really only have one more boss that's going to be giving us a heart container. That means we have well over 30 pieces of heart remaining to be found. So, lots of pieces of heart, piece of heart hunting to look forward to. Or piece of ass hunting, as I read in this thing. Like, I found this really funny, perverted story. It's like Wind Waker, but it's like perverted, and it changes the names of everything. Like, Link took out his Wind Wanker, or something. I don't know. And they had, like, different names for everybody. Ugh, I barely move my mouth, I'm so tired. Okay, so I'm gonna... Ah, oh, shit. Ugh. Oh. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Okay, that was a really weird... Okay, I just played the song Passing Gas to turn it to daytime again so I could talk to this rich guy again. Why would I want to talk to this butt munch again? Well, it just turns out there's actually something I can do with him. I don't want to say something I can do for him because the day I do something for him is the day I sell my own soul. 20 skull necklaces is what you're gonna need. I actually had 18 and I had to go grind some. So, uh, you can grind on the on the ice aisle. That's where I went. I'm sure there's a closer place, but... Eh? This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. Eh, and from the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy, filthy rich. Alright, boy. I'll give you this as a tip. Now, I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. What do you got? Oh, a treasure chart, huh? Okay. If you say so. Hmm. I almost don't want to accept this. I was... Dude, I can't read that because my Wii remote handle is hanging in front of the TV. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. Yeah, chase your dreams no matter whose expense it comes at, right? Uh, let's see. What do you got? You're wearing bunny ears. Whenever I think of my dear father, I lose my resolve to leave home. He's so infatuated with money and precious objects, and I'm quite precious, you know. I guess I just have to stay here with him. By the way, lately he's been so obsessed with a particular kind of strange necklace. Oh, yeah. What? What are you talking about, Y, Z, and X? Dude, you're breaking the fourth wall again. As far as that goes, you're breaking the fourth amendment while you're at it. Drop, Link, drop. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do next is uh, actually start on that quest for the... Um, well, it's not really a quest, it's more, it's actually kind of an optional thing. And, um, uh, but it involves, like, going over to the Eskimo guy, which is, I know he has a name, it's like Zanari or Zanuli or something. And, uh, and this actually kind of costs a lot of rupees, but it's something that's kind of fun to do. Let's see, how do I actually, how do I have to go around this way? Hi. My dear fellow, oh wait, no, what? No, 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 hey, don't push me, don't push me, man. What did you say? Can't be trying to come this way, no, 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 go over there. Where? Over here? I've tried that already. Oh, okay, here we go. Jeez. Yes, yes, you're the young master who uh, purchased my sale at last with those funds. I have been able to open my stall, but I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For if I'm to be fully honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall is much better if only I can stock rare items that people can't get here in town. That's what I need. Then I'll make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. Maybe I'll take a candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is a proper perspective. But you're me, only a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter. Um, are you talking to me? Yes, yes, man, sir. Now that I take a longer look at you, I see you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it's a bag fit for a, whole, or a hero of destiny. <sighs> I have a small request. I, I seriously thought that's what I said for a second there. It requires the use of that bag. A request? I'm out of here. No, let's hear it. Oh, dear me. I knew you, man, sir. Oh, shoot! Anyway, my... What? My stall. <laughs> I can't see. 
Well, it's in a general store that makes this money back to any rare products, and it's just prices and selling them with a reasonable markup, of course. But because I have so few products to sell, shopping remains rather deserted. I'll sell anything, unless they're the safe, just the price. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of complicated, I'll, I'll walk you through it, don't worry. General looks so frightened, I say contracts, but it's just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All you have to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of the contract. That is to say, merchant's oath, that's what we'll call it, yes, yes. Merchant's oath. Merchants that a sworn merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me, it's the way things work. What? Okay. Well, isn't that kind of like what Walmart did or something? Uh, with their super centers, you know? Well, we're partners? Partners! Oh, Mr. Miyagi, this is gonna be great! Oh. Alright. Okay. You got a town flower. This flower hails from the town Bright Smiles. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag on the item set screen and use it, whatever. First thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant. And trade for something pill. I said, oh, I'll stop yawning. As soon as you trade, the merchant trade with us in the process. My shop, they're right, increase my profit line. Blah, blah, blah. You said that already. That still doesn't make any sense. Like, but okay, they, they just send you stuff for no reason at all. Okay, whatever. 